Hi, this video is going to show you the scalability of Manner with Manner Enterprise. We will go through some of the key features that enable scalability such as phased rollouts and scheduling of deployments in a large scale environment. As you can see, we have a little more than 100,000 devices connected in the environment and there is a limit of a million devices which you can configure yourself. On the left side, we have group devices by geography representing devices in different parts of the world and also a test group. On the deployments tab, we will go ahead and create a new deployment and select a release to deploy. In this case, we will select release two and then select a device group to deploy to. In this case, we will select Germany. As you can see, there are 2,247 devices that will be targeted to, in this group. Next, you, you will get to configure if you want to start deploying the updates immediately or set a specific start date and time. For example, when the devices are not in use like a Sunday night. But in this video, we will simply start the deployment right now for demonstration purposes and we'll utilize phase rollout by selecting a custom plan. Phase rollout reduces the risks of deployments because if there are any failures, not all the devices will fail at the same time. But you can essentially gradually roll out the updates given on a plan that you can define. You can specify this by percentage. In this case, we will select 10% in the first phase, which is 224 devices. And then there is a time delay, which you can also configure in days or hours. We select two hours or two days between rollouts in this scenario. And you can add more phases based on your specific requirements and gradually increase the scale and scope of the deployment. And when you're ready, you can review that what you have planned and configured are correct and you're happy with. And then you create the deployment. Initially, the deployment will be in the pending state. You can see relevant information such as the total number of devices that are being targeted to get the software update. Now you can see some of the devices have started to pick up the update. There are, as we defined initially, there are three segments, first phase, second phase, and third phase. We can click to view the details of the deployment. There is 189 devices that are in progress. 31 have been successfully updated with zero failure. Now the number is 52. If you remember from the earlier in the video, from the configuration of the phase rollout, we, we limited the scope to reduce the risk and we chose no more than 10% or 224 devices of, of our devices should start the update. The remaining of the devices in our fleet will start later and we define this in the second phase of the rollout, which is in two days from now and then the third batch uh, would be four days from now. As you can see, the updates are being processed and so far all of them in the first phase have been successfully off, uh, updated. Uh, there are uh, remaining 22 in progress. If there are any failure, you're also able to see this and obtain the logs of the deployment for the devices where it did fail. Now all, all the 224 devices have been updated successfully.
you now have time to see if there are higher levels of errors in your logs or monitoring system. You can also see over the next couple of days before the second phase kick in, if there are any higher load on customer support issues. And if there are, you always have the option to abort the deployment in order to avoid any problems escalating to a large set of your customers. Otherwise, you can leave the deployment running till the next phase of the deployment start. And then you also have this third set of deployments that will start and contains the majority of the devices in the fleet. Thank you for watching this video.